First up is a woman whose name you know, a woman you have watched in movies since she was a little girl. And yet, I will bet you can't tell me three personal things about her. In fact, Scarlett Johansson plays things so close to the vest that I did this entire interview thinking she was engaged. In fact, she had gotten married one month prior in a secret ceremony. So secret, it seems, she forgot to tell me. This year, Scarlett Johansson conquered the all-boys club of superheroes. Hang on! She played Black Widow from Marvel Comics, the world's biggest action movie franchise. And your room secure. And in the film, Lucy, she showed that a woman can do anything to a man that a man can do. Hey! In real life, she's playing a slightly more traditional role. She's engaged, make that married, to French art curator Romain Doriac. And she's a mom to their three-month-old baby, Rose Dorothy. You just had a baby girl. What's it like for you? It's, it's wonderful and exhausting. You know, the love is just unbelievable. It's very overwhelming. Do you take care of her yourself? I do. Really? Yes. The whole bit, the diaper change, the... The whole bit, yeah. I'm nursing and uh, I love it. I love it. It's the best way to get back in shape. <laughs> <laughs> and what a shape. Scarlett Johansson is a full-fledged, old-fashioned movie star. She's glamorous, but down-to-earth. Natural, but naughty. Savvy, but sensual. And above all, sexy. Did you mind being thought of as sex, sex, sex? I never put on a sexy face, so I don't know. I don't know, um... You know, I don't know what it means to be, uh, to act seductive. I... Do you like your body? It's an okay body, I guess. I mean, I wouldn't say it's particularly remarkable, though. Any parts you don't like? I don't like, you know, my, my thighs, like my midsection. But from where I'm sitting, <laughs> it looks okay. Yeah, well, who can complain? I mean, you know, I'm not going to complain. I have no. not thighs in yeah. the midsection, so I'm happy. You have said that you don't want to be thought of always as an object of desire. What would you like to be thought of? I think an actor for hire. Today is April 18th. As her home movies show, that's always been Scarlett's goal. Oh, and this is a new tap dancing uh, step that night. Born in 1984, Scarlett grew up in New York City with her twin brother and two older siblings. I am proud that she loved to sing and dance around the house. I've been a girl like me. You wanted to be an actress from the time you were very little. Really little, like three. My mom is a film buff, and so I watched a lot of, you know, Rodgers and Hammerstein musicals and films with Judy Garland, and I loved Auntie Mame, and I... I think I just escaped into them, and I wanted to be a musical theater actor. Did you sing then? Yeah, I sang. And, okay, uh, do something for me. When I was seven or eight, um, I had, you know, I was auditioning for musicals, and so I sang um, Bally High. That was one of my... That's not easy. Do, <laughs> do, it, do a bit. Oh, God. <clears throat> Most people, wait, <laughs> I have to think about it. Most people live on a lonely island, lost in the middle of a foggy sea. Some people long for another island, one where they know they would like to be. Bally. You, you stop before the hard part. If I was in the shower, I would sing it so loud right now, but, uh... <laughs> At first she... By age eight, Scarlett was landing small film roles. Scarlett Johansson, nine. Here she is auditioning, this time unsuccessfully, for the movie Jumanji. Would you forget about the stupid game? Now close it up and put it away. How did you handle rejection? when you're auditioning that much, as much as I did when I was a kid, you get rejected most of the time. I was very competitive, um, and I, 
I think I always had this weird, I don't know, I felt like it was their loss, kind of. How nice. <laughs> But the truth is, rejection didn't last long. Scarlett played a series of too smart for their own good teenagers in several independent films. But her breakout role came at age 17 in the low-budget film Lost in Translation, opposite Bill Murray. I just don't know what I'm supposed to be, you know? Most child actors have trouble transitioning into the adult roles. That didn't happen with you. Very fortunately, I think I, you know, I found sort of a niche in independent film, um, which is much more forgiving, I think, than mainstream film. And then she found this niche. What's the secret of doing a realistic sex scene? Uh, I won't ask you to do it for me here, that's okay. <laughs> um, we'll have to step in the back. Uh, you have to be totally, um, you know, without judgment. And uh, it's sort of liberating. It's challenging. You just got to stay in the moment. Scarlett bears it all on film, <laughs> but in the real world, she holds something back for herself. Your private life is very private. We don't read a lot about you. Uh, you're not in the tabloids. How do you manage that? You know, I live a pretty low-key lifestyle, and I've always held my cards sort of close to my chest when it came to my private life occasionally. You know, there's been little outbursts here and there. One of the few times her private life went public was her two-year marriage to actor Ryan Reynolds. That ended in 2010, four years before her current union. You have said, you don't think human beings are monogamous by nature. Do you still feel that way? Um... I don't think human beings are monogamous by nature. I think, I think being in a committed relationship takes work. Um, you know, it's very easy to kind of leave a situation when it gets uncomfortable. Or it's, it's challenging. Um, but when, it's, when it works, it's really worth it. You have been open about being in therapy. Are you still in therapy? I am. You know, and then I could say, wow, but you know, you got a baby, you're a big star. It's a perfect time problem. to be in <laughs> therapy when everything's going well. <laughs> What's the biggest misconception about you? I don't know. You have to tell me. What do you think? Well, I think because you played so many sexy roles that it may be forgotten how good an actress you are. Well, that's very kind. I was going to say that I was tall. How tall are you? I'm five, well, I would say five, four on a good day. No, you are tiny. No, but even looking at you, you look tall. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a philosophy by which you live? Um, I would say what I'm learning is that with every gain, there's a loss. And with every loss, there's a gain. It's easy to interview and talk to you. I wish you everything good. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Next up for Scarlett is the sequel to The Avengers, where she will once again portray Black Widow. Avengers Age of Ultron comes out in May of next year.